everybody, Dizzy Crafter here. I've decided to go on to do one of these little pop-up boxes uh, as a Christmas card for my grandson. Um, I thought I'd share me making this. I have, uh, I am using the dies from Gemini uh, Crafter's Companion just to make it easier and quicker because time's running out. <laughs> Um, I've also picked up some extra uh, little dies out of my stash to help me in case I want some extra bits going on um, and then I've picked up some sentiment dies uh, out of my stash as well and then the papers we're going to be using are these from the works and I just thought they were so cute for a little one this is only three especially love the gingerbread man and the stripy ones and the presents ones so I think they're the three I'm probably going to go lean towards so enough of me wobbling let's get on with the crafting so the first thing we're going to be doing I'm going to start doing all the stamping and then get that out of the way then I can do all the die cutting and get all that out of the way but I thought that because these are so small what a perfect opportunity to use up all my little scrap pieces of my Nina card and there's no point in keeping it um, and wasting a whole A4 sheet because these are not going to take that many so I'm just going to stamp as many images as I've got I've got quite a bit of scraps here going on and at least that will get them out of the way as well so let's get on with it I am using the Crafters Companion stamping platform as well it's just easier these are the stamps you get in this collection, they're super super cute so I'm just going to get on with stamping some of them. I'm going to be stamping with a Memento uh, Tuxedo Black ink pad today. I feel like I have got the uh, Spectrum Noir one for the, uh, it, the alcohol markers because that's what we're going to colour these up with but I do feel that it's not that black whereas this is black. I've stamped up some images um, and we're going to colour them in but to colour them in you want to be putting some copier paper or some cheap paper down below uh, so that the ink does not go anywhere else other than the images you want and go through to your craft mat so I'm going to start with the trees For the trees I've used the Tri Blend colour in Alpine Green and I'm using the brush ones, I should have said that earlier on. I'm going to use EB4 for the trunk of the tree. I'm going to use Canary which is CT3 for the stars. I've just popped some red down for the baubles but I'm actually going to go over the baubles with a Nouveau Glitter and this is in Winter Cranberry. So that's the trees done, we'll pull them aside to dry while the glitter dries on them. Then we're just going to do the sleeves and I'm using GB9. To use the illustrators when it's a very thin design we have to colour in. I'm using the brown grey blend of the tri blend brushes. Then we're on to the snowman, and the first snowman I'm going to give him a green hat and scarf, and we're going to be using the light green blend. And we're going to use the gold GY3 for the noses. And for the snowman, all I'm going to do is add an accent of the blue grey BGR1 all around the edges. And I'm using the illustrator pen again just so I can get a fine line. 
and we're going to do this on the bauble of the snow hat as well my first snowman done I'm going to carry on colouring these because you don't need to see me colouring everything in uh, and then I'll be back I've got all my images coloured up now so I'm just going to run all these through on the Gemini using the dyes provided and luckily I know there's quite a few so because I've got the not original Gemini I can actually run this through majority of them all together because I've done double snowmen that's the only reason and obviously I've done extra trees and sleighs and stuff so just in case so I'm just going to take the dies and pop them on and you just want to marry them up the best you can really and then tape them down with some tacky tape which I always take extra fibres off because even though it's tacky, low tack it still tears the card So I've cut majority of these snowmen out but the snowflakes are stamped up, they're too difficult to do so I think I'm going to uh, die cut some of them and then I'm going to stamp them after die cutting and then once I've done that I'll be back. So I've used these dies and I've cut two of these out which is that's where it states. I didn't realise that it actually lets you cut this deeper depth for the bottom box as you want so that's really good. So all I'm going to do is trim that off and make the uh, base on both of them the same and I've also die cutted three of these as well. Now we've cut all these up and I'm happy with the size I've chosen. I've gone with 10 and a half in, uh, centimetres at the bottom. I'm just going to measure up all the panels for the papers so I can start to cut the papers out um, and then that'll be a lot easier that way. So the first small panel is 7.5 and the next one is 10 centimetres and I always put a little arrow showing which way the uh, measurement is. That's also 7.5 I'm just going to repeat that underneath, I know obviously it's the same. I'm just going to go and cut all the panels out and decided to use these papers that is from the works like I said. Uh, I'm going to cut the panels out and then we're going to come and glue them in. I've made the panels up um, and now I'm just going to go along the score lines on these and then I'm actually going to attach all of these panels before making the box. I just feel like that would be a lot easier solution in the end. So we're just going to crack on with that. Make sure you use your bone folder for these creases too. So what I'm going to do is just put an, the score line down, continuing it on. I'm going to be using some tacky glue to do this as well. So we've got the two panels now all decorated up on both sides. I'm not going to decorate the insides because you're not really going to see that. And then we need three of these strips die cut in and then all we're going to do is fold these over on the score lines. Just done that, we just need to take one of these panels and I don't know if you can see but here on the camera here, let's see if we can get a focus on there. We've got three lines here, indentations, and then these bits need to marry up into each section, making sure it's straight. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to use my tacky glue to do that. So we've got these three attached now, but before I attach it to this section, I'm going to actually attach the box together, I think making sure that's straight so 
once we've got the box straight we're then going to attach these and you can see clearly now this one here that's why I wanted this folded inwards just so it wasn't flapping over like this so this will be the front and this will be the back and it's quite easy just to pull the pieces of card up you don't want to pull it up too much and then you're just going to marry it up to the lines again I'm just going to put it on the side just so I can bone fold these in. This is the basis of your card um, and all we've got to do now is decorate it up. Um, I'm just going to use some of the dies and some of the stamp elements we've done. So what I'm going to do is decorate everything up before we actually attach the snowman and stuff. I've die cutted this piece here and I'm going to put it on the front um, I didn't really like the circle tag so I am actually going to cover this up I, mean, I just want that on the front here like so so we're just going to clear that on so for the first little character we're going to put on we're going to put on this back wall but I'm not going to be using the acetate I'm just going to use some foam pads just so it's in front of the mountains uh, but it's not actually dangling so I want this positioned in the correct way I'm just going to line that sleigh up with the, the base there but so we can still see the name and we can still see the mountains I just think he looks rather cute there I'm going to get some of these trees that we've done and some of these acetate pieces I know you're going to really struggle to see these acetate pieces but there's not really much I can do about that I'm struggling to see them to be fair and we're just going to attach these acetate pieces to all of my little snowmen and trees what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach all of the snowmen and all like the Christmas trees and stuff and I'm just going to be putting some glue on here just like I did on the back and then I'm going to position them where I see I'd like them to be So this is the finished card guys, um, I've die cutted some extra snowmen and I actually just die cutted some of these candy canes, I think I've got these from the craft label um, and then I've just glued a reverse on these to get them to go the opposite way and that's the cute little card and it does actually all fall flat, I don't want to fold it flat too much just yet because some of the glue is probably still drying. Uh, so yes, yeah, so what do you guys think? I think it's super cute and I'm sure my grandson will absolutely love it. And thanks for watching guys and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.